Being known as a striker, you know, I have very powerful kicks and comes from being able to whip my legs around with, with velocity. A lot of the movements I do, especially focusing on my legs and some of the Olympic lifts, single arm snatches, power cleans, a lot of that has to do with power from your strikes. You're generating a lot of energy from your hips and it's all getting exerted through your fist. Coach Winkle John has completely transformed my striking. He would just sit down and throw wide and throw hard and it hit as hard as hell and as tough as they come, but it was gonna run into some punches. So day one, start with the jab. Just work on basic angles, getting your hands up, doing things, and then it's evolved into being in the right place at the right time. He had me do some footwork drills and he knew, well, gosh, you have really good feet from your football days, but you're never using it in your fighting. You're not using it in your striking. You know, you're simply standing in place trying to throw as hard as you can every single time you throw, and you're too easy a target. And then once we had that figured out with the Cantwell fight, now it's getting in the right place at the right time, and now he's starting to hurt people. Dan came in here, he was always big and strong, you know, and uh, he's an intimidating person. You watch his, his fighting style and, of course, being familiar with the sport, I knew what his style was and that's, that's you know, like aggressive, um, fearless. So, you know, we, we went at it that way and I respect anybody who comes to a new gym because uh, it's intimidating. Um, you're, you're, you're out of your social water, you know, you're, you're out of what makes you comfortable and and, and he came in here and, and uh, he came to spar, you know, he came to, to work. You know, most guys don't do it, but I believe you can train to take a punch. I think, uh, you know, one of the biggest ways to train to take a punch is by not taking them. Every time you get your bell rung, your chin gets degraded a little bit by a little bit by a little bit. Fortunately for me, I was born with a big square jaw and a big square head, you know, and I, I had trouble finding places that, that really that benefited me other than football and now fighting. He's able to take a punch. I don't want him to take any punches ever again, but he's able to, so it makes my job easier because I can put him a little bit in harm's way a little bit and he can let things go. To be a professional fighter, you have to make friends with pain. Whether it's exhaustion or it's physical pain from a blow that you take, whether you know it's a kick, a punch, an elbow, if you're not used to that, what happens is you'll find a way out of the cage. And you see that in some fights where a fighter just doesn't want to be there anymore. But for me, you know, especially with my military background, what's a broken nose or, or a broken arm, really? Uh, you know, I get to go home to my family at the end of the day. He's destructive. I don't think there's anybody in the division that hits as hard as Brian Stan. At 185, he hits harder than everybody, and that includes Anderson Silva. Brian can just crack. <laughs> 